So far we have looked at different ways we can create custom functions. We've talked a little bit about documentation and we've shown how we can use those to enhance our spreadsheets. Uh, now we're going to take a, li a little bit further look at strings and some other things that we can do with the numbers that we have. So uh, we know that you can concatenate strings with a plus sign. That part was pretty easy. But you can also find out the length of a string. If I have a variable and I use that variable and I after the variable I use dot length that will tell me how long a string is so I could do something like create a string uh, and then create another variable that shows me the string and then shows me how long it is so uh, this dot length tells me exactly how many characters are in my string so characters are anything like a space or a letter um, any symbol any number we call those characters typically we can also deal with things that are, shouldn't be or that can't be easily entered in a string so for example, if I have a double quoted string, I can't just put a double quote in the middle. You know, I need to, I need to do something about that. And the same with a single quoted string. Uh, new lines and tabs work kind of the same way. Uh, I can't just have a new line in the middle of my string. Uh, I have to actually identify that there, I want to put a new line in somewhere. Um, tabs, you know, we don't typically think of tabs, but if I want to enter a tab, uh, that actually won't show up properly in my string. So I can use a backslash character to escape these values so something like a new line is going to be a backslash n something like a tab is going to be a backslash t uh, I can use backslash single quote to escape a single quote and that just means that it that when app script is running it won't use those to terminate my string it will just use those as plain quotes plain single quotes plain double quotes I can also break lines you know if you've if you've written anything that's really long you might notice that it's really hard to get a lot of text into your string uh, in one line you know it's going to go all the way to the right of your page so uh, we want to usually break lines if we need to make really long uh, text, strings of text um, we can also do that a couple of different ways but we'll take a look at that in one of our exercises um, strings also have these methods so methods are these are just operations that we can perform so we've looked at a couple of really basic functions that we've written on our own but there are some functions that are built in uh, so methods are, are just these these sort of functions that belong to the string you know they are like string functions um, so once I have a string I can use something like in index of and I can use that to find things in my string so I can use this index of method to identify where something exists in the string I can also use last index of to see where the end of it might be I can use the substring method to extract a part of my string so we can look at the substring method and see how we can take that and make smaller strings I also have these two uppercase and two lowercase functions that will give me all of the uppercase values or all of the lowercase values in a string and then if I want to just find particular characters I can use care at uh, that will just tell me what character is at a particular location in my string and I can also use care code at which will tell me what the numeric equivalent so every every character has some numeric equivalent we will probably use that later but right now we, we probably won't do much with that but it is useful to know that you know if we want to get these numeric values we can get those from our strings as well now one interesting thing about the caret, the substring, the index of, all of these start with zero and we'll, we'll take a look further at how this works in our exercise but the position zero, position one, position two, position three, four, five, these all uh, have characters associated with them in a string. So the first character in your string is going to be position zero, then your second is going to be position one. And most programming languages work like this, where they start off with zero. There's always a zero uh, value, and then a one value, then a two value, uh, all the way up to not including the length of the string. So some, in with numbers, we'll take a look at a few things we can do with numbers here. Some operations just won't work. You know, for example, if I divide 100 by a string, uh, that's going to give me an error. Or it won't give me an error, but it's not going to give me a normal number. It's going to give me this odd number called NAN, which is not a number. Um, we can use not a number and, and we can just identify it as NAN but we can detect if something is not a number with is NAN uh, and we'll get into how we can use that a little bit more later there's also this infinity value that we can use if you just say divide a number by zero that's going to give you infinity and we can use that later as well numbers also have methods you can convert a number to a string if you want to concatenate two numbers instead of add two numbers you can use two string for those numbers and that will give you uh, strings that you can concatenate instead of adding those two values together 
You can also round them to a number of decimal places using two fixed, which will just take a, you know, maybe you have a, a, a number that has five decimal places and you want two, you can use two fixed and then pass in two to that function or to that uh, method, and that will actually give you uh, the two decimal places. We can also convert strings to numbers. If we use parse int or parse float, that will convert strings to numbers, which is can be pretty practical when we, you know, get some user input or somebody gives us a string that we want to convert to a number. There's a lot of functions available for math or for, from the math uh, value here as well. We've kind of seen math.py already in our last uh, module, but we have a couple of other things we can do with math. Math has some other other constants, but we have math.round, we have which will round a number similar to that two fixed. We have math.pow, which will give you an exponent. We have math.sqrt, which will give us a square root of a number. We have geometry functions if we want to start look, working with geometry, uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. And we can also get a random value, which is interesting. Now, the math.random value will return a, a number between 0 and 1 that will be some random number. Uh, so we can use that random number between 0 and 1. You know, it's going to be some decimal number like 0 0.764192. Uh, but we can use that to pretty much convert to any normal integer. We'll take a look at how we might do that uh, in our lessons. We can also get the absolute value of a number. Uh, Math.abs will give us the absolute value of a number. So lots of different functions and things that we can do with strings uh, and things that we can do with numbers. So in our, our next few videos, we'll take a look at how we can use some of these to do some interesting, you know, to perform some interesting operations. Thanks for watching.